If Kamala Harris wanted to end her campaign with a bang, well, she certainly got one, but it wasn't what she or her campaign expected. President Joe Biden was filmed, believe it or not, biting babies at the annual White House Halloween event. And as if his comments calling Trump supporters garbage was not enough, well, the question is, will his actions and comments sink Kamala's presidential campaign? Our next report tells you more. President Joe Biden's Dracula movement at the White House Halloween party is making quite a splash on the Internet. If the mic wasn't enough to expose his gaffes, his actions are certainly speaking louder than words since he dropped out of the US presidential race. Though he playfully bit a child dressed up as a chicken on Halloween, it certainly kicked up something of a storm. President Biden was also photographed sucking the foot of another baby at the same event, with critics now demanding he be kept far away from little children. And then there's his garbage controversy that snowballs on to the point where it's threatening Kamala Harris's bid for the White House. I've lived the promise of America. While taking on remarks made by comedian Tony Hinchcliffe, who called Puerto Rico a floating island of garbage at Trump's Madison Square event, Biden ended up saying that the only garbage he sees floating around was Trump's supporters. Just the other day, a speaker at his rally called Puerto Rico a floating island of garbage. The only garbage I see floating out there is his supporters. Though Biden and the White House tried a clean-up job, the damage had been done. Seizing the moment, Donald Trump boarded a garbage truck that helmed his Make America Great slogan upon arriving in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Wearing a bright construction vest, he was all knives out, sharpening his attack on Biden. I have to begin by saying 250 million Americans are not garbage. As the November 5th election nears, the big question is, whose garbage will the American voters dump? Many analysts have come to predict a 2016-like free fall for the Democrats post garbage gate. Hillary Clinton had lost to Trump then for using the phrase basket of deplorables to describe half of Trump's supporters damaging her chances. You could put half of Trump supporters into what I call the basket of deplorables. The racist, sexist, homophobic, xenophobic, Islamophobic, you name it. And unfortunately, there are people like that. It remains to be seen if Biden's gaffe has thrown the Democrats into the same shifting mire and handed Trump victory on a platter. It's the last lap before the big exam day as they throw it all in. The stakes couldn't be higher. Your report, we on World as One. All right, for more on this, we are now being joined by Adele Nazarian, a senior media fellow at the Gold Institute for International Strategy. She's joining us live from Washington, D.C. Adele, great to see you. Well, many experts be believe that the garbage remark on the part of President Biden is perhaps the best election gift from Democrats to the Republicans. Can you give us a sense of how expensive it may turn out to be for the Democrats, notably Kamala Harris? Oh, Suzanne, great to be on with you. What a great package also. I laughed so much hearing it. It was great. Uh, this is a pretty expensive gap, I have to tell you. President Biden is the gift that keeps on giving to the Republicans. And it's only a shame that, you know, there wasn't more time to have him slip up some more. Um, I think this is going to end up costing them many, many millions of dollars. Already, the Harris campaign is outspending the Trump campaign. They've also did a significantly better in fundraising because of all the Hollywood backing. Um, a lot of people think it's pressure behind the scenes because of the people who are involved with P. Diddy stuff, but that's to be remains to be seen. But um, regarding the trash problem, if I may mm. just say, um, Puerto Rico has a really pressing trash problem. It's a visual blight. I've been there several times. I've seen it myself. And what the comedian was saying yep. wasn't actually referring to the people in, at the Trump campaign. Um, it was referring to the literal trash problem. Um, but definitely what, what Joe Biden came out and said, um, really way off, off left 
center. And uh, it will end up, as you said, um, as, as you ask, rather, costing the Kamala Harris campaign um, a pretty penny. And it's interesting that, you know, a, a distasteful joke, a comment by a comedian at a Trump rally informally is being compared to a comment made by the leader of the free world, Joe Biden. It was an in, there was an interesting article in Politico that said Joe Biden's actually doing this on purpose to derail the Harris campaign because they sort of sidelined him. Uh, that's you know, that's one theory. But ultimately, what impact do you think this controversy would have on the election, particularly among Latino voters? It's highly possible subconsciously. I can I can say this when it comes to the Cuban American uh, diaspora in the bag, Trump supporters all the way. When it comes to the Puerto Rican diaspora voters, they are a bit more divided. They always have been. You know, the Democrats like to push this whole, you know, ethnic kind of, you know, race baiting people when in fact the Republicans don't like to do that. But that's the reason why a lot of the Puerto Rican population is kind of divided amongst Trump and, you know, Republican and Democratic supporters. Um, I think ultimately, though, that what will end up happening is, um, yeah, it may have the misinformation that's being spread on social media from Harris and supporters and, and Democrats in general has been abominable. They're basically going on and trying to say that Trump is the one who is by not, you know, by allowing for the comedian to make that comment that he's gone ahead and actually directly, you know, dis disparaged Puerto Ricans when, first of all, Puerto Ricans weren't being disparaged. Literally, as I said before, Puerto Rico has a trash problem. Um, but I think what's going on here is the political correctness has once again um, been a weapon. It's become a weapon used against everyday people mm -hmm. and a weapon, a tool of mass misinformation. Um, so I, I definitely think that maybe this will help Harris because of the misinformation. She's been campaigning in a Puerto Rican diner, I think it was just, just today, or you know, sorry, yesterday. And so she's gonna, you know, pick up a few points there. Um, but ultimately, I, I don't think it's gonna be enough to derail a Trump presidency if it's meant to happen, not at all. Mm. Yeah, and, and it was very impressive to see the former president Last night, giving a shout out to sanitation workers across the country as well, while wearing the uniform. It's such an interesting campaign season, Adele. I'm sure you agree. We'll be watching very closely, and I love talking to you about it. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.